Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for March. Now, I don't know what the heck is going on. This is I've had to restart this video. I think this was third or fourth time that I've had to restart it because just little stupid things are happening, so I don't know what's going on. These a tough start I don't know if it's a tough start to March or what I also had to wait to do this reading to when my little girl wasn't here because she's a little Libra right and she likes to listen and I don't think she needs to so keep in mind that every word that comes out of my mouth is part of this reading I had to wait till she wasn't here and you know I had to wait for the perfect time so I don't know how that resonates with you but anyhow what do we have for Libra what do we have for Libra for March Oh, there we go. Got a couple of cards that fell out. July. So July is very prominent. The month of July. And carriage. A journey. Either physical or mental. You may be going somewhere in July. Maybe you're planning it now. Uh, you're dealing with somebody that's born in July. It could be a Cancer. could be a Leo. It doesn't have to be. Um, but a journey. Either physical or mental. This reading is for March. So maybe you're going to start this journey now, in now through July, I don't know. Maybe you've been on this journey for a while. July is, it's usually where we live, where I live. It's very warm, it's hot, it's summer, it's beautiful. It's a time to get out there and do things, you know. So I'm not sure what is happening. Um, you may be, may, may be planning some travel for July or you're starting a new journey now. Um, what do we got? Somebody could be traveling towards you. What do we have? What do we have for Libra? Somebody is... Oh, there we go. Look at that. That worked out, huh? Cup. Oh, you should accept valid criticism. So there's somebody here that needs to be able to accept valid criticism. Oh my God. Cracked cup. Dissatisfaction with life. Oh my goodness gracious. So there's dissatisfaction with life. You should accept va valid criticisms. I think things are going to get better in July because it's such a beautiful month. Um, a journey, either physical or mental. I think I have hair on my face. Oh, there we go jackpot jackpot so this is something the jackpot i don't know if somebody's winning a jackpot i mean jackpot is typically a win could come after a loss um unfaithful there's somebody that's unfaithful now unfaithful faithful doesn't have to always be a wedding okay it's somebody that isn't telling the truth this card did come out reversed. I flipped it. So I'm wondering if a loss is actually a win. I'm going to flip it back. So this is like a loss of some sort. Maybe you've already experienced that. You, I think that you have. I think that you've already experienced, because I always go from past, present to future. I feel like you've already experienced a loss and maybe you're, you're, you're taking off a ring or, or you're, you know, somebody was unfaithful to you or you're dealing with, and, and, and you know, you could be an outside party and you're dealing with people that, you know, somehow you're, you know, in their circle and there's and you're supporting them in some way there's somebody here that has been unfaithful your prayers have been heard your prayers have been heard so there is some sort of prayers that have been heard you know sometimes and I, and I know people don't want to hear this a loss is a blessing in disguise so your prayers have been heard hmm Maybe you've been waiting for somebody to go through a separation. You know, sometimes, you know, that's what we wait for. I mean, if so, if you know somebody's been unfaithful, you know, and you're waiting for the news, you know, I don't know if that's the case, but somebody's taking a ring off or something like that. So there could be a divorce here.
Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So you have to stay positive. I just looked on the bottom. We have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So you may have somebody new. You may Maybe you feel guilty. Maybe you feel guilty. Maybe you feel like you're being unfaithful. But even if you're single, sometimes when we attach to somebody, we feel guilty for opening up to others. You know? You know, I... Your prayers have been heard. I feel like there's been a loss. I feel like a journey means it's time to move on. I see July as happiness. It's, and I just saw 555 five, five on the clock. So 555 five, five is expect the unexpected. It's made your life choices, made your life changes. Your life is about to change. And your life is about to change. Okay, there is some sort of dissatisfaction with life. I feel like you need to be open-minded. You need to think positive. If you lost something, consider it protection. Consider it protection. You should accept valid criticism. And I don't know where that's coming from, but I'm sure that you do. These cards are getting old, but they're my favorite. What do we have for Libra? Seven of Wands reversed. Ah, Six of Cups reversed. We got somebody here that's clinging to the past. Clinging to the memories of the past. I mean, that's exactly what that is, right? That's clinging to the memories of the past. It's uh, a need to give up. This is giving up. Giving up on the past, perhaps. This is admitting defeat. Stepping down. Uh... There's something about children here. This is like nothing stays the same. Freedom from obligation. Somebody is being freed from their obligation. There's nothing stays the same. This is uh, could be packing up and leaving the past behind. I think it's a struggle. I think it's it is a very big struggle. This is accepting. It is. It's like I give up. I give giving up on the past. I mean, he's giving up on on the past. They've been romanticizing the past trying hard to maintain their position. This is quitting, it's giving up, it is. It's giving up the stance, changing the position, letting go, letting go. Mm. Ooh, may have something to do with a father or a masculine energy that deserted you in your time of need. I mean, the Six of Cups is a robbing of innocence as well. This is, and we may have somebody here that is going to be putting up a fight. This could be an extreme fight. Somebody is ready to fight. They're ready to battle. So I'm not sure if that's where you've been. Um, this is admitting defeat. It's stepping down. It's, it's it, Or it's putting up a huge, huge, huge fight. But we do have a loss here. So I feel like this is somebody that is losing a battle. They're giving up. They're giving up may have something to do with a father figure or a husband or a masculine or somebody that is very controlling. This person deserts you in your time of need. They don't take care of you. They don't nurture you. Um, they're entitled. We, may, we also have somebody here that may have been neglected by a father. You know, they have father issues. Maybe they don't know what love is because they were never loved as a child by their father. Or there's abuse from a father. This could be child abuse from a father. It could be child abuse. Emperor reverse. This is like disorder. Uncontrollable. Somebody's been... Maybe they've been naive. There's also, there's, there's some sort of abuse here. There's, there's a tyrant, maybe even a narcissist. This is somebody that doesn't care who they hurt. They're above the law. This person is very controlling. You know, they love to be in the spotlight, even though they don't have the qualifications to be in the spotlight. Ooh, this is not good news. Aha! Woo! Trauma bond! Oh my god, we got a trauma bond. We have a toxic bond here now. I could have told you that. Right? May have something to do with a father um, or, you know, a husband, boyfriend, whatever. Whatever this is, it's a, it's a trauma bond. Okay? This is not good news. The page of wands reversed. 
Okay, this is a setback. Uh, this is very toxic, very unhealthy. We have a very unhealthy person here. I don't know if this is who you're losing. I don't know if you're losing a father or you're losing a husband or you've lost a husband or you've lost something and things are out of control. You may feel like you can't control your emotions. You could be angry and upset. You Maybe you are angry. Maybe, maybe there was some sort of unfaithfulness. Somebody abused you in some way. Oh, I got chills. Oh my God. So anyway, the devil is uh, toxic, unhealthy, greed, lust, materialism. Um, it's an unhealthy bond. The page, it's unhealthy attachment. So somebody, it's a codependent situation. So we have somebody here that is going to extremes for sure. They may be, they may be in a fight where they lose, okay? Because I feel like there's a loss here. They're losing they're losing, okay? Uh, Page of Wands, reverse. May have something to do with a child. I'm not sure, sure if somebody has even lost a child or they've lost rights to a child or something like that. Um, nothing stays the same. We have selective memory here. I only want to remember the good times. I don't want to remember. This is the selective memory. You know, this is like, I only, and this is like, I only want to remember the good times. I don't want to... I mean, I don't want to even think about the bad times. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna block the bad times and reminisce. I'm gonna romanticize the situation. So that's somebody that has been doing that as well. Anyhow, the devil is toxic, unhealthy behavior. So this is abuse. I don't know if there's drug abuse here or there's some sort of obsession. We have somebody here that is very obsessed. They're out of control. There's a need to take back control. Somebody needs to take back control of their I don't know, there, there's desires here, um, there's temptation, there's lust, there's greed, things are out of control, somebody needs to control themselves, they need to make better decisions, they need to stop engaging in some sort of competition, it's time to let it go, there's toxic behavior here, There's this is like a lust, there is lust or addictions, codependency, time to start over somebody's going in a new direction they are this is like taking a big risk taking a big risk doing something on a whim spontaneous but that page of wands is not good news this is a setback we got power here we got somebody that here that has a very big ego extremely big ego they're doing something spontaneous without thinking. Somebody's doing something without thinking. This is definitely naive. It's, it's lust. It's an obsession. It feeds their instant gratification. It feeds their ego, you know. So we definitely have an egotistical individual here that is doing something uh, spontaneous. They may not be in the right mind. They may be power hungry. There is some sort of power, a need for power, a need for that energy and need somebody needs an ego boost or something like that um, mm. this is freedom from a toxic situation so I think that I think that you are breaking free or you're gonna be broken free it could be extremely spontaneous this could be spontaneously being broken free from an individual that has abused you um, deserted you maybe they cheated on you they were unfaithful towards you and maybe you couldn't let them go because of the bond that you have with this person you know the the trauma bond the memories this is freedom that you're free you're free you're free so you're gonna be set free you're you are from this hell this is hell freedom from hell you could also be dealing with somebody else if it's not you you know you could be dealing with somebody else that has been in hell okay they've been living in hell okay they've been living in a toxic bond now I know that all of you guys that are in fantasy land are gonna say oh it's the karmic he's leaving the karmic wake the fuck up that's your illusion you say Let's keep going. Ah, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 
Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Capricorn, Aries, Aries, Capricorn, very masculine, controlling, leader, boss, I'm the one in control energy. Doing something spontaneous. I feel like you've been missing an opportunity for happiness and you're dissatisfied with your life because of a previous loss. I feel like you've been missing an opportunity with a new suitor or a new friend or somebody new because you've been focused on the past abuse or the past trauma bond. Your prayers have been heard. This is a golden opportunity here, the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, to start over from scratch, to go in a new direction, to start a new chapter in your life. But you have to be positive. The Page of Wands reverse is, po is, is negative. It's negative, it's pessimistic, okay? Because of the past, because of the memories, because of the neglect, because of the... Uh, Illusion. The abuse. It's time for you to admit your defeat. Step down. I'm sorry. And maybe it's not you. It could be somebody else. Somebody needs to step down from their position. They need to stop clinging to the past. It's time to go in a new direction. You need to ground yourself. You need to be practical. You need to be realistic. It's time to take a risk and start a new journey, to start a new life. So I feel like, and this could be, this could literally be changing. It could be moving, like stepping into new territory. You know, this could be securing a new home or securing something solid, stable, real, long term. But it will be risky. It will be risky. You're going to have to face your fears, okay? This is stepping forward in faith. So I feel like in March, this is freedom from a toxic bond, stepping into something solid, stable, secure, long term. You know, you're you you you're going to see an increase of abundance, an increase of value. Maybe your maybe your value is increasing. Maybe you're going to be focusing on your value. I feel like you're also going to be receiving an offer from somebody or somebody that you're with is, or somebody that you live with, or somebody that's around you is gonna, and, and they're gonna be received. It's very spontaneous, this is sudden. This is a sudden opportunity, it's a golden opportunity that leads to abundance, because the King of Pentacles is very abundant. There's a very abundant person here. This person has money, they, they've worked hard all their life, they're in a leadership position, they are. This is a leader, this is a master, this is an older person, typically an older man, okay? This is an older man that is, gonna, is giving you something that can break you free from some sort of toxic situation. An opportunity that can break you free. But you have to have faith. You gotta have faith. You gotta. You may, you may have to take a risk. And this, I don't know if this has to do with moving, because I do have a journey, either physical or mental. Freedom from a toxic bond, securing something real, a real opportunity. From somebody that is solid and secure and faithful. Ooh, it's not working out with this devil. It's not working out with this person that you are tied to, that you are bound to. Okay, there's this is definitely unhealthy. 
there's poor physical health, there's unfaithfulness, the Knight of Pentacles reverse is unfaithful, it's not going anywhere. Whoever this person is that you are tied to is not interested, they're not committed, this person has a wandering eye, they, they don't want to put in any work, this person is a sponger, they're lazy, they don't want to work, you know, this, this is like, it's toxic, it's unhealthy, it's very unhealthy. It's time to break free. You need to focus on your value, okay? You need to be grounded. You need to be practical, okay? I feel like you are going to receive a sudden opportunity that can... I think it has to do with building a new foundation someplace else. So I don't know if this is a job offer or a, a living, situ living change or something like that. Um... Three of Cups, Reverse, Parting Ways from Friends or Family, Dashed Expectations, Termination. Somebody is losing their rights as well. I'm not sure if they're losing their rights to children. Um, there's been abuse or maybe child abuse. I see that for some reason, some sort of child abuse. There's also drinking here. I wonder if we have somebody here that has some addictions. They go to extremes, you know, and, you know, something happens very suddenly. Just saying. Um, Three of Cups, Reverse, is Parting Ways from Friends or Family. We could have a third party situation here. Somebody has been naive, okay? They have been naive. They've been uh, bound to this third party situation for some reason because, I don't know, maybe they never know what love is. I mean, I don't really see any love in these cards. I see reminiscing about love that, you know, the love that you wanted it to be, the love that you, you know, reminisced it to be or whatever you want to, you romanticized it to be, but it's not. Okay, there's really no love in these cards. There was probably a, lo a lot of fun. It probably was a lot of fun. There may have been good sex. That's lust, you know, for some of you. This is a very sexual, it is, it is. It may have been, and people get uh, great, great sex confused with uh, love. It's probably one of the most common things. Um... Anyhow, Three of Cups, that is parting ways, it is termination. There's been a lack of emotional growth. Somebody has... been clinging to the memories of the past and I feel like it's, it's time to break free and I feel like this is freedom. I feel like this is freedom, I do. That's, that's, that fool card is freedom. Parting ways. Parting ways. So you're parting ways. This is the end of some sort of competition. It's the end of some sort of battle. It's over. It is over. The battle is over. Whoever, whoever you're dealing with, either they're going in a completely new direction or you're going in a completely new direction. Whoa. I'm trying to get something good, but this is like, this is an unrequited love. There's no reciprocation. This is, uh, it's sad. It is sad. It's, 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 it is. There may even be a rejection here. This is tears. It's sadness. This is a smiling liar. This is, you got to be careful because you may be approached. You may be tempted to, uh, I don't know, have sex with somebody from your past. And it's, this person is, I feel like this person is a narcissist. They're not looking for a relationship. They're not committed. They're, they're, they're in a, th it would be a third party situation. I think that you're going to be tempted. My, oh my God. For some of you, this is a need to, uh, master your emotions. Okay. You really need to be practical here. You really need to ground yourself. You need to be realistic. Okay. There's somebody here that's never going to commit to you. They're not. And I don't know I don't know if it's a father, if you've been abused by a father or it's a husband or it's an ex or whoever it is. There's this person is not interested in having a relationship. Okay? They're not. They're not committed. They're not committed to following through on anything. Okay? This is somebody that will tell you everything that you want to hear, but their words do not match up to their actions in any way, shape or form. So I feel like in March, you, you need to break free. And I feel like you're going to be going in a new direction with that fool card. 
Okay, there's also somebody here that, uh, I don't know. You may be on the defensive. I don't know. You may be on the defensive about somebody, you know, that you see this is happening. If it's not you, you may, there's like, I need, I want to defend. I don't want this to happen. You know, that kind of thing. I don't want that to happen. There is some bad news. There is bad news. We have a cheater here. We definitely have a cheater. We may have somebody here that is in a bond or they're in a relationship just for the money and that is it. That is it. And they're not going to leave the relationship because there's so much in their ego. There's so much all about social pressure. This person is, is more about social pressure than they are any type of love relationship. They're all about money. So I feel like you need to step down from your position. It's time for you to move on. Um, you do have another opportunity here with the King of Pentacles that is real, that is solid, but you have to, you have to be practical. You do have to be practical. You have to take a risk and you have to step into unknown territory with this new opportunity. Okay. Um, so I don't know how that resonates with you, but you will probably be tempted by this loser this month. Good luck.